Hello everybody, I'm Bear Skills. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to Hood Outlaws and Legends. So we're back here again for another video, doing a bit of a different one today. Actually, we're going to be jumping into some tips and some tricks with Tuke here. Uh, he's quickly become one of my favorite characters. As you guys can see in the top left, I have ranked him up to rank 9, almost rank 10. So we're getting closer to being able to use all of his different perks. Very excited for that. But with my time playing him, I have picked up a few things that are really useful. I think he's very influential on games. And I hope that with some of the things I've picked up, if I share it with you guys, you guys can do better in your games too. You guys can improve and you guys can make it out with the chest in more of your games. So if you guys did find anything in this video that you did learn that was new, remember to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you're new. So start off with tip number one, gas grenades destroy PVE. So, much in the way that Marianne's gas, er, smoke grenades work, Tuke's gas grenades, not only do they drain the stamina of enemies, which only really affects players because the state enemies, such as the knights, they don't seem to have any stamina from what I've been able to tell. So, the stamina draining effect is only useful against enemy players. And later on, when you level up your perks, you can change your gas grenade to be a healing grenade which I personally would say is more valuable than the smoke stamina drain. But the real thing I use the grenades for is taking out PV, as you guys can see in the clips here. Essentially, you throw the gas grenade just like Marianne's, and you can easily assassinate any guardsmen, get out of any combat you've been in. Uh, it can be used as a great escape. Once you have the healing grenade, uh, it does the same effect. So essentially, you can just throw the grenade at a group of enemies, they won't detect you, and you can assassinate them carefree. As long as you're in the smoke, you cannot be detected. So that will move us on to tip number two, which is always lock on right before heavy or running attacks. So with Tuke, as I'm sure you guys already know, <clears throat> he uses a mace, a flail, uh, as you will. So he has the longest range melee attacks in the game. And with those attacks, they can be quite difficult to hit your targets and unlike John or Robin or Marianne with their melee attacks being very close combat oriented um, you don't have to lock on with them they easily track their targets but with Tuke if you're having difficulty hitting your running attacks or especially your heavy attacks make sure you're locking on right before you go for the swing so as you guys can see in the clips here right before I take a heavy attack I always lock on and it is Super, super influential on whether or not you will hit your attacks or not. Uh, before doing this, I actually really didn't like this character at all. I felt that his attacks were very buggy and didn't seem to connect when they should have. But doing this, my attacks almost always connect. It's very rare that they don't. And usually it's only due to really skilled movement of the enemy players. Or maybe a bug or something like that. Because the game is a little buggy here and there. I could use a little extra polish, but for the most part... If you lock on right before you do an attack, it's going to catch them. So keep that in mind. It's a very, very important tip. It's one of the most important things about Tuke. Um, and I recommend doing this against enemy players and against statesmen. So the guards or anything like that. So remember to always lock on before a running attack or before a heavy attack. It's very important. Also keep in mind that while you're locking on, your character has the animation of swinging the flail. This is a bit of a bonus tip. So when you're swinging your flail and you lock on and you start swinging it, you can unlock, which will stop swinging it, and will almost give to the enemy the impression that you're going to swing when you're not. So if you have any pesky Marianne's or Robins that are dodging your attacks, try unlocking and locking on quickly and then throwing your heavy attack out. Generally, they will either block and unblock or they will dodge and then get caught by your heavy attack immediately afterwards. So keep that in mind. Bonus tip for you guys. Moving on to tip number three. Use your gas for easy key steals. So something I don't see a lot from Tukes is you have, like, as Tuke and Marianne, they're the two characters that have the easiest way to get the key from the sheriff. With both characters, and especially Tuke, you can literally run through encampments. Uh, as you guys can see in the clips here, I even went into custom game modes, put the difficulty of the NPCs to the maximum, and you can literally run up on the sheriff as long as you throw the gas and grab the key and immediately leave with no repercussions. This is very easy. In this clip here, you guys can see that I am in a red outline, which means I have been aggroed. 
I'm running past the guards, I'm running towards the sheriff, he's seen me, I throw the gas grenade, and boom, none of them know where I'm at, grab the key, easy, jump down, and I escape. Right here, another perfect example, running past guards, don't have to worry about stealth whatsoever, just about speed. There's a sheriff, he's on me, throw the gas grenade, immediately on aggro, I grab the key, and I can get away to safety. So remember, use your gas grenades for easy key steals. Moving on to tip number four. After you parry, use a heavy attack. Always. Don't use a lead attack. As you guys can see here, even on the state people or on enemy players, this tactic works. When you get a parry on, say, a John, a Marianne, or any character for that matter, use a heavy attack. I ran into a problem where I used light attack and tried to combo that into a heavy attack. Not a good idea. It's a very bad idea to do that. You want to go with a heavy attack. As you'll notice in these clips, I'm actually using two heavy attacks. I parry, I do a heavy attack, as you guys can see here, and then I throw another one out. Now, this isn't a 100% guaranteed thing. I have had people get out of it. I have seen people get out of it with um, very, very well-timed guards and dodges, especially for Marianne's when they have their ability to dodge further with more iframes. But for the most part, you will almost always get that second heavy, and two heavies will guarantee a kill on any enemy player and almost all statesmen except for the elite knights with the purple health bars. And it will always two-shot enemy player, regardless of the character, unless it's John with his extra health perk. That's the only one where you won't two-shot him, but you will leave him with very little HP. So keep that in mind. So as a brief summary, make sure you're using your gas grenades to take care of PvE to be stealthy, assassinate them very easily. If you're aggroed right now and you've got a lot of enemies on you, make sure to throw your gas grenade down. You can take them all out very easily, very quickly. Always use your gas grenades for easy key steals. It is incredibly important. It's one of the best abilities that Tukaz is getting the key fast and efficiently. He doesn't have to worry about stealth whatsoever, and he can simply run past guards, get to the key, before the enemy team even really knows what's going on. And always make sure that after a parry, you're using your heavy attacks. Very important. And probably the biggest tip I have here for having a good time with Tuke and being effective is to always lock on before your attacks. Do not forget about that. It's the most important thing about him. So as you guys can see in the clips here, I am showcasing locking on right before I do a heavy attack. A very good tracking. It rarely, rarely ever misses. It's very nice. So make sure you're doing that. And as long as you guys are doing all this, you should have a better time in your games. You should be more efficient, more effective, and you'll have a better influence on the outcome of your games and getting that chest out, because that's what it's all about in the end of the day. Getting that chest out, getting that extraction, getting that sweet, sweet gold to upgrade your hideout and to get them nice outfits and weapons for your characters. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, or if you guys found anything in this video that you learned that was new, consider giving it a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. And as always, I'll hope to see you guys in the next video.